the heart is always in movement. It cannot be still all the time. And so a person has to try to settle it. And he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the heart of the son of Adam is more inconsistent than boiling water. So you can imagine the movement of the heart. The more Iman a person has in the heart, the more they're able to settle it. But the heart is always moving. And if you stop settling it, if you stop filling it with Iman to keep it still, then it's inevitable that it's going to turn and you will not be able to control the degree uh, to which it turns and how far it will go or where it turns to. So settling the heart is extremely important. Now subhanAllah, there are many lessons we take from this. The scholars mention that if you read about the companions, they took time to internalize the faith. Okay, they understood the inconsistency of the heart. So they took time to stabilize the faith. So Ibn Mas'ud anhu, for example says, we used to read 10 verses of the Qur'an, understand them, memorize them, apply them, and then we'd move on to the next 10. Think about then uh, the Khawarij, the extremists that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, that recite plenty of Qur'an, but it does not go beyond their throats. You know, there's a saying that extremists are blinded by the light, they're not guided by the light. What happens if water keeps on boiling? It'll evaporate. So there will be no Iman whatsoever. So a person should slowly, slowly, slowly stabilize the heart rather than try to take in too much because the Iman, Iman does not come in that fashion. Iman grows gradually. You don't suddenly jump in and take it all in. It grows gradually and a person has to make their heart consistent. So there are two supplications from the Prophet ﷺ that we'll learn today inshaAllah that are very similar. And uh, a person might think that they mean the exact same thing, but there's a subtle uh, lesson that we can take in the difference. The first one is the most frequent supplication of the Prophet ﷺ, that he would always say, Ya muqallib al qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Ya muqallib al qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O oh, turner of hearts, make my heart firm on your path. If the Prophet ﷺ, made that dua more frequently than any other dua, then what then for us? Does the Prophet ﷺ fear hypocrisy? Does he, does he fear that his heart will be turned in any other direction? SubhanAllah, what about us then? If that was the most frequent dua of the Prophet ﷺ, it should also be our most frequent supplication and we should increase it well beyond what the Prophet ﷺ used to say, for our hearts are not like his heart alayhi salatu wasalam. Now there's another dua that's very similar and I want to talk a little bit about the difference because they're both authentically narrated. Another dua the Prophet ﷺ used to make was Ya Musarrif al qulub Sarrif Qalbi ila Ta'atik. Also, O turner of hearts, but the word is Musarrif as opposed to Muqallib. Muqallib is to turn, Musarrif is to direct. Okay, and Siraf is to direct. So, O director of hearts, direct my heart to your good deeds. So, Ya Muqallib al Qulub, Thabbit Qalbi ala Deenik, Ya Musarrif al Qulub, Sarrif Qalbi ila Ta'atik. Ya Muqallib al Qulub, the first one, which is the most frequent dua, is really to, to maintain your heart upon the path of Allah, longing for Allah and away from sins. So, away from turning to that which is displeasing to Him. The second supplication is that Allah directs your heart to good deeds. So one is that Allah keeps your heart away from turning towards that which is displeasing to Him. The other is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns your heart towards that which is pleasing to Him. So two du'as, the more important one, Ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenik. And then the second one, Ya musarrif al qulub sarrif qalbi ila ta'atik, Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our hearts firm and consistent and upon that which is pleasing to Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill our hearts with longing for Him so that we meet Him in that state. Allahumma ameen.